Let's make Boodles. If you aren't familiar, Boodles is a character from Mickey's Monster Musical. Use an embroidery hoop, canning lids, freezer paper, and folk art acrylic paints. See the description for a complete list of supplies. First, use the Brilliant Ultramarine to paint the embroidery hoops and the seals of the jar lids. Outline two circles on the freezer paper using your outer embroidery hoop. Paint those circles vintage tea rows. Cut out one circle for the face, approximately a quarter inch beyond your pencil mark. The second circle cut the same size as the outer hoop. Using a toilet paper core and grapevine acrylic paint, dip the ring into your paint and add half circles to the bottom, top, and the sides. To add the eyes, I used a small biscuit cutter using the same purple paint as the half circles Using a black paint pen, draw Boodle's hair. To add the eyeballs, I used a small plastic thread spool dipped in matte licorice paint. Grab a spouncer or paintbrush to paint the half circles and color those in with purple. Using the black paint, fill in Doodle's hair. Next, add the eyebrows. Lightly draw using a pencil. Then go back over the outline and color them in using the Apple Barrel paint pen in black. Using that same paint pen, paint the eyeballs leaving a little glimmer dot. Then trace a half circle for her lips, then add her lips using the Apple Barrel paint pen in pink. Paint in the whites of her eyes. Using a paintbrush, paint a half moon just below her eyes using bright pink. Using the lavender, also use a small pouncer to add a dot to each side of her lip. Then with a paintbrush, add the lavender around the rest of her eyes. Once her face is dry, outline the various parts of her face again and add highlights using the paint pens. Grab the flats of the jar lids, then add two or three coats of the black paint to the right ear, allowing dry time between coats. I used a cupcake doily for the design, first cutting it down and then painting it with the ultramarine. Using the Mod Podge mat, add the doily to the black surface. Using a thread spool painted with apple red, I created the outline in the center of the flat. After that is dry, use a pink paint pen to draw out the petals and fill them in with crimson paint. Using a pouncer, I filled the center in once again with the apple red. Putting it all together, cut a quarter inch tabs all the way around Boodle's face, about a half inch to one inch spacing between each. This will make it easier to add the face to the embroidery hoop. Add the Mod Podge to the outside of the inner embroidery hoop in small sections. Line up Boodle's face on the hoop and begin gluing down the tabs. Clamps will help secure the tabs until they are dry. Next, glue the flats into the seals of the jar lids and paint the back of the lids in the ultramarine color. Once the glue dries, remove the clamps. Add the outer embroidery hoop to Boodles with the latch on the lower end and tighten the loop. Using a craft glue, such as E6000 or Gorilla Glue, add the ears and clamp until dry. I also went back and secured the ears with hot glue on either side of each ear where the ears meet the hoop. For a hanger, cut a piece of fishing wire, string, or ribbon, tie a knot, and then glue between the ears on the back of the embroidery hoop. Once dry, remove the clamps from the back of the ears. Using the second pink circle, ensure it is the same size as the outer hoop, then glue it to the back of the frame. Using hot glue, add a bow to cover the latch. Cut a piece of tulle, thread the fishing line through the tulle, and your friendly little boodles is ready to hang. 
Thank you for joining me for this project. And if you would like to see more crafty content, please take the time to subscribe. Bye.